Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to automate a website uh, using Protractor test. Uh, Protractor uses a Selenium WebDriver API, uh, but in JavaScript, and uh, it's specifically made to test AngularJS um, websites, but I'm going to show you how to test it without, uh, even if the website is not Angular. And we're going to end we're going to show you how how easy it is to kind of get this up uh set it up on your computer very easily uh with few steps and you can start uh autom start creating your first test case all right so what are the tools that we're going to need uh you need sublime notepad uh just just a text editor uh you're going to have to install node and you're gonna have to download um, Protractor just using npm. So npm install minus g Protractor test, and there you have it. It'll just download on itself. Okay, let me. I've already done went through the steps and downloaded. Just and if you need some clarification, there's plenty of um, documentation online. But you would go to Node.js.com and then download download a node. Then, for example, from your terminal, uh, once you've finished, you can just kind of verify that it is working. There you go. So I have a node version. And then here in the protractor, this is a protracted test. You can see it says you just have to set up is npm install g. I've already done this um, just for the sake of I'm not going to kind of repeat it but you as you can see you can check it again uh you want to see is protractor dash dash version okay and then so both of those i've have installed on my computer all right so what's the next step all right so let me kind of go over some of the, like the steps that we're going to be already done we already done <clears throat> step one which is npm install minus g Protractor. It's going to install all the dependency, everything. Dash G means globally, so it doesn't matter where you've run it on your on your command line. It will it will install globally. Okay. Uh, we will follow up with this uh, step two <clears throat> of creating a pro folder and the two files, and then step three would be just to running the test. Protractor space conch.js. Remember, you have to be in the directory that you you wanted to be in in order to make this command run. Okay, I just want to go over the overview really quickly, <clears throat> which is download the open source tools, right? You create the folders, like we mentioned, step two, you write your test plan. Basically, what do you want to automate? What what do you plan to do? And then you automate the process. <clears throat> um, what I will go over some of the things is understanding the conf.js and how it controls the uh the, the your your framework and how you can use it to to do what you want it to do and how you can write your tests and then Chrome direct connect which basically means that we're with Chrome uh, and and protractor uh, you can easily you don't need to run a selenium web driver or anything like that uh, it will automatically run your selenium uh, it will automatically connect to the Chrome and it'll run your test without having to worry about Selenium web driver and um, the grid or anything like that or I'll just basically run on its own automatically um, and then yeah and making it run in in non angular website so you have to write this command uh, ignore synchronization equals to true to be able to kind of um, uh, making it run so that so that protractor doesn't specifically look for angular js uh, elements on the page and how to run it just you just run the protractor okay all right so let's go with step number two what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a folder uh, and then two two files right conf we need conf.js and test.js all right so I'm just gonna create a folder here in my in my desktop let's just call it whoops Okay, let me just delete it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I will try again. Let's call it test uh, or demo test. Okay. All right, and we need two files in here, right? So we need. Uh, let me just go into the terminal and then. So 
<clears throat> okay, so I need to go to desktop. Okay, and then demo test, right? I'm just creating a two files right now. Com.js and test.js, okay? So as you can see, I just created two files. So that's it. There's nothing in it right now. Um, so we'll, we'll go to that in a bit. All right. Let me open a new sublime actually. All right. Now I'm going to open. Okay. So I'm going to open. So I've opened it and uh, so I have nothing as you can see, nothing there. For the sake of time, I've already copied it over into my other file. So this is my conf.js. I'm going to post this uh, code um, uh, online, but you can see it right now. And you can pause the video and then just write it. I wanted to put on, on the... Um, on the screen so you can just copy it just pause the video and you can just type it in so I have not done anything specific I'm gonna remove that conf.js you don't need it it just that's that okay so that's all you need like basically five lines of code in your conf.js okay so I'm gonna save that then I'm gonna go to test there's nothing there I've already have another one I've already written it down I just wanted to So uh, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the code up online, or, or you can simply just pause the video and then and then understand it. Okay, let's see if we can see that. Okay, so this is a test. This is my test case scenario where I want to go to a test case example, to go to the e-commerce website, uh, and then click on a product. Okay, that's all I want to do. Click on so. Okay, so um, I won't go into the code right now, but go on, e go to this specific e-commerce website, which is ornitjewels.com. Okay, uh, and then I want to go to the pendant page, and then um, and then I want to go to a specific product page. Okay, so how do you do that? Let me just kind of manually go ahead and do it, so you can see what I'm talking about. Would be I go to this. Uh, which is basically a small project I've been working on another project it's my own website so so this is a, a, a website in 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 the making basically to find bugs like as you can see that nothing that this is why you would need automation to check if everything is working properly okay so I went to the site I want to click on the pendants page and I want to click on this particular product to make sure that okay it at least shows up on, on but I want to make sure that this is uh, working Okay, so that's my scenario. All right, so I've done that. I've done. I've done this. Now let's run this. Okay, so I copied and pasted the code into here. I'll, I will go into the code a little bit later, but let's run this uh, for now. Okay, so all right, so I'm in here, right? So as we can see, our step three, right? So we did this step two, and then let's do step three. Protractor. That's it. You have to just type this command. You have to go to the directory. We we went. We're inside the demo test folder we just created, right? And we ha we have these two files, and now we just do this: protractor conf.js. Okay, up oh, something is not right. All right, this is perfect because this is type of you want to any error message you get, you want to work through your um work through your error messages and then and then figure out so something as a reference test is not defined all right so what is that so how so we're, we're telling it to go to conf.js and look at it right so let's take a look at a conf.js all right what it's saying is that i'm look the spec is this test.js okay well the problem here is that we actually put this on which is i just i just wrote that down for for the comment purposes and then we're specifying it. We're, the specs meaning that what test case to run. So this is test, and then this is the test file. Okay. Now I'm going to run this. I'm going to save that. Now let's try that again. All right. There we go. Oh, whoops. Ah. 
pretty good. It's running. It's running. And then clicking on that product. So I've added weight a, a lot of like a specific you see these five seconds right I've added it basically telling it just for the demo purposes I've added it so that you can um, so that you can see it but let's try something let's let, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just say just wait for one second okay so 1000 millisecond just means wait for one second. so I just saved it right let me run this again actually right now let's see how fast it, it's going to kick it off Right, go to the pendant page, go to that specific product, click on it, boom, and then close. And then actually go back to the home page and then close. Right now, now let's try something where I don't add any weights at all. Right, so I'm commenting the code out. Right, and then let's try that. There you go. Boom. It just within like five seconds, it just you have your automated test cases. All right. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm I'm not gonna go into further details. Uh, in the future videos, I'm gonna I'll talk about it and I'll post this code up um on the YouTube description uh or uh just or on maybe on my GitHub repo. All right. Thanks guys.